Pentatonic scales can be very flexible in the way that we actually apply them to chord progressions. Uh, usually they're used uh, a lot in blues music uh, and quite often they're just used as the scale goes up in form. So if we play over a minor chord, we might use a minor pentatonic scale. Actually, I slipped in a blues note there as well, uh, which is a very similar related scale, the uh, A minor or A blues scale. However, uh, with these patterns, it's very interesting if you move the scale uh, shape down while you're improvising over chromatic ideas. So if you were playing over A minor 7, G sharp minor 7, G minor 7, rather than playing three separate pentatonic scales, What's quite interesting is to keep the same pentatonic shape, but simply move down to accommodate the new chord. So what I mean by this is, is we can keep the first part of the pentatonic scale on the A minor. When we come to the G sharp minor, we move the shape down a semitone. So here we're going to, and then when we come down to the G minor, we move to the, the the part of the shape on the third string. So now we've got a pattern which passes through all three chords using essentially one shape of scale. is a really useful way of looking at pentatonics actually not just looking at them uh, going up uh, in one shape but actually um, if you like joining the shapes uh, up, up together so um, that's worth exploring I think <laughs> 